we knew that it was going to be hard today. There was no, there's no easy teams when you come to tournaments. When you, you come out the borders and you bring a squad of boys, you can. There's never an easy tournament, and it's always a, it's always a scalp to beat the south, isn't it? Wherever you go, and everybody knows who we are. But we just looked a little bit tired. You know, we gave them two early kickoffs. They went 14 0 up, and we started to get back in the game. We looked a lot comfier and a lot better second half. Got right back into the game. 22 19. You know, if we'd won that next kickoff, we might have just won the game. And, that's the way sevens is, isn't it? It turns, it turns quick. Now the boys obviously know each other from playing against each other, but playing with each other is a different ball game. Oh, it's a different thing. You can it, it, it's having no trained or anything like that. You can it's understanding. But you know, as I said to them before, it, it's attitude. Attitude's the most important thing. We know everybody in that team can do something with the ball, but we've got to have the right attitude when it comes to defending. Dropped off too many one-on-one -on -one tackles there, and hey, it happens. Everybody's allowed a bad game now and again. Well, it's a pool of uh, four, two pools of four, which means, effectively, that you really do have to win your next two. Oh, we have to win every... We never came down here to get beat in the first game. We came here to win every game, but hey, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes getting beat and actually finding your feet and thinking, Jesus, this isn't going to be easy, because there'll be boys turned up the day thinking, this is going to... I'll walk this, because they've seen folk on Facebook and Twitter going, the standard will be low. They've turned up thinking that they just need to turn up and win it, and that's not how it works. Like, everybody wants a shot at everybody, and... Okay, we came here to win every game, now we, do, now we really need to win every game. Second game is definitely a, a step up because um, I think we knew what it what it meant. You know, if, if we had lost that, it was it was home time or, or the plate. Um, sorry, so and we're obviously here to to win. Um, so yeah, I think it was definitely a, a step up, and there was that more hunger in the in the second game, um, which um, yeah got got us a win at the end because it was it was pretty tight. You know, this this is kind of opportunity to, to you know represent the region and, and and kick on to that that step up, which you know everyone wants to kind of challenge themselves at. And you know, it's uh, it's it's definitely not going to be easy today. Um, some good physical teams, you know, North England. It's always going to be big, uh, big boys you're up against. So it's uh, yeah, it's about kind of sticking to sticking to what we know, playing playing sevens the way Ned Haig would have wanted it played. <laughs> so um, no, certainly it's uh, it's going to be tricky, but um, if we can. If we can keep stepping up each game, that's 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 what Fraser Hartness and uh, uh, Kinnigan are talking about. You know, um, you know, building building a tournament and getting better as, as the games go on. So I think this next one's gonna it's gonna be big in terms of if if Tyndall go out and beat uh, Newcastle School for Boys, then it's gonna come down to points difference. So first of all, we need to get the win, and second of all, we need to yeah, we need to have that at the back of our minds as well.
We spoke to you at the beginning of the season, you were playing for Duns, yeah. Duns semi-junior team, yeah. then Melrose, now you're wearing a South jersey, that's pretty fast going. It's it's definitely going very fast to say the least, uh, came from Colts and went for the Duns first, did a good couple of months with them and then went over to Melrose with Bert and obviously Bert's helped me you know, get into the squad, I made my debut at Berwick Sevens only four or five weeks ago, not that long ago actually. And now I'm here, yeah. It's all rather exciting. It is, obviously, very excited about it. I was at work on Tuesday, it must have been, and I got the message saying I play for the South. And I didn't play a couple of weeks ago because I was concussed, so I've only just got back as well, so I'm very happy to be here. Plenty of pace, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I've been struggling a bit with the end there. Got quite tired, quite humid and bumpy pitch, but, yeah, definitely good to get the, get the speed up there, play with the boys, so it's not too bad. But it's so obvious you play with a smile on your face, and that really helps, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, I enjoy it. And, obviously, it's a good bunch of lads here, and they all want to be here, and they're very keen. So, definitely, it puts a smile on your face, definitely. And, of course, I mean, some guys in the squad, Donald Crawford's, Bruce Colvin's, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were just a wee boy when they started out. Yeah, definitely, you know, I've spoken to some of them, I thought they were about 22, I don't know, a little bit older than that, you know, still young, though. But, no, definitely, they've been playing for a long time, so it's good to be with boys who've got experience at this level. Well, Bruce, you're doing it the hard way, but you're through at the final. Yeah, exactly. We're just kind of speaking in the huddle there about that we, we definitely made that tie a bit difficult for ourselves. But the pleasing thing for us is the the bit of desire and the bit of dog at the end to, to, to win that kickoff and for, for Donald to put on a, a wee bit of skill and, and, and chip it over and receive the kickoff. But no, look, they, they, they were they're a good good outfit, um, very abrasive, bit of a tighter pitch in this in this semi. They were pretty straight up and down, and it was a definitely different challenge for us. But look, delighted to to come out. Either way, whether we do it easy or hard, to, to make a final is always good. Have you been surprised at the standard of the tournament? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been it's been really good. It's been really good. I mean, it, it, a lot of teams. There's, there's a lot of different sevens. There's, there's, there's teams that are, are very physical, and then there's teams that, that want to play a lot with the ball. Um, so it, it's a constant challenge. But it, no, it, it's it's really good. It, look, it's brilliant. Sun's out. Loads of people here. Bit of music. Bit of uh, food and drink in the background. It's it's always a good day. So you're through to the final. You get another crack, I believe, at the team that uh, beat you early on. Yes, I. So um, we kind of gifted them 12, if not 17 points off a kickoff. So. Uh, Hopefully we can uh, sort that out and um, yeah, get a good, good go at them in the, in the final.
Well, Matthew, uh, to beat the South once is an achievement. To beat them twice, you certainly deserve that trophy. Yeah, no, we were chuffed to beat them twice. I think uh, they were definitely the hardest side we'll play, even though it was the first game. Um, but, you know, going into the final, I think we were aware of what a good side they were. And I think that reflected when it was such a tight game and it's gone down to the golden point. Tell me about the boys in, in the Newcastle School old boys team, because there's uh, a lot of talent there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're lucky enough to have a lot of good players. So it's all boys, obviously, that have just finished uh, Newcastle School for Boys. And we've got lads from 26, 27 to, to 19. Uh, and we've only just come together this year. Uh, and we've had a lot of success. We won down at Morpeth and then we've won here. Um, so it's really exciting. It's just a thing that's just started out. So hopefully, you know, sky's the limit. We can keep going and playing more tournaments. Well, Fraser, disappointment at the end there, but it's been a bit of a roller coaster afternoon, hasn't it? Ah, it has, Ken. After the way we played in the first tie, he would have maybe thought he wouldn't even get with the group and boys actually knuckled in wheel can who showed a real lot of heart against Tyndale and then that semi-final maybe just took a wee bit more out I say that extra time in the semi but hey do you know what we've come down here there's a few young boys few first times out and it's all about experience eh? they, they'll learn for that you can it's finals are a bounce of the ball but to be 17-0 up or 17-5 up can you nearly need to see that out and we never got out of half in the second half of the game eh? and that's frustrating, it's, it's hard, it's never nice losing, eh? but again, we've played well today, it, it, again, we have played well, we've got better as the tournaments went on and I think they'll, they'll say that and all because they beat us in the first game and again, they were out that game and just didn't have that killer instinct. We all learnt a lot from ah, this. And, and that's the most important, again, when the, when the Whelans has just come straight under 18 rugby, again, and he acquitted himself really well, really well today, again, his ball placing, his feet work, again, he acquitted himself really well today and that's what it's all about. Again, he's come out of his comfort zone, he's come away with boys he doesn't know. And then, you know, you're coming into here to play against players that, you know, they're a good, they're good size. I mean, that, that team that beat us in the final have won two in a row. That's them picked up their third trophy in the last three weeks. So they play together all the time. So, can there's no shame in what's happened. Can you, you come away, you get beat, you just, you just got to go on with it. Eh? Coming down here, something a bit different from the, the Kings of Sevens, uh, all the guys getting thrown together from different clubs. Um, so, nah, a, a really good day out, to be fair. Just a uh, bit gutted we couldn't get over the line at the end there. Two sudden deaths in one tournament as well, that's a bit rare. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Um, as you said, uh, semi-final went to, went to extra time and so did the, the final. Um, golden point, um, went our way in the semi-final. Donald with a kick through, got the bounce of the ball. Unfortunately, in the final, uh, bounce, of our, bounce of the ball didn't go our way and, and they managed to get over the line. So, look, yeah, fair play to them. Uh, they had a bit of dog to come back into the, into the tie, get it to extra time. Um, and, yeah, as I said, unfortunately, bounce of the ball didn't, didn't quite go our way. So. And, of course, we all know about Kings of the Sevens and Sevens rugby in the borders, but we don't know so much about Northumbrian rugby and I suppose the same here I mean the standard is high yeah yeah absolutely I mean uh, I think again just with no disrespect to some of the teams uh, we, we kind of said that you know we, we weren't expected uh, or we didn't know what the, the standard was going to be like and um, it was a really good level of rugby and um, played Tyndale in the group NSB old boys um, and, and they gave us a, a really good a good game and then uh, Kuma Beavers as well they, they, they were a good team so um, Again, possibly guys just coming together. Uh, we, we met this morning um, and then kind of had a, a bit of a training session or a bit of a run around with a, with a warm up. And then it, it's it's maybe hard getting chat together. But no, you know, we're, we're all good enough rugby players. Um, and we just said we, we need to gel as quick as we can. Didn't get off to the best starts, as I mentioned earlier. But uh, we definitely built game on game. And, and by, the, by the end of the term, we were definitely a much better team than uh, that played in that first game against them. So. But it's still been a very long season, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it's been about six or seven weeks to sevens or something. And then, you know, this is probably one where you get invited and, and obviously you want to play for the south and, and you know everyone's probably jumped at the opportunity to do it so it, it is an extra weekend but it, it's a really good weekend and it's one that um, I was you know certainly really excited about and, and I'm sure it's no different for the rest of the boys as I said we were uh, probably would have jumped at the opportunity to do it so and this was your first time at the south wasn't it yeah that's right so yeah, what first, does that mean to you first run out uh, yeah it means quite a lot to be fair obviously uh, growing up and, and born in Melrose home of sevens rugby I, I enjoy my sevens and um, lucky that I've kind of broken into into the, the sevens team over the last few seasons with Rob Christie um, and then more so a uh, bit this, this year kind of felt like I've had a bit of a leadership role in, in driving that team so to, to get asked today um, was yeah, a real honour and a real privilege so uh, absolutely delighted and giving me a bit of a taste for it so hopefully more to come if, if there were opportunities but You get a bit of a break now do you? Uh, yeah I've got next weekend off and then going to Amsterdam the following weekend and then I think after that will be a uh, break until pre-season in August or whatever it is Shouldn't so. be back won't it? Yeah exactly it'll come around quick um, so try I try to get away in the summer, get the feet up and, and rest up. We'll well, no again. shortage of effort, well done today. Thanks very much, Stuart. Cheers.